Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. And this is Dr. Shriya Tayen. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. I am about to do a reading for the collective. And let's go ahead and call in some help. I call in there. Fire water earth spirit and ether and i also call upon the highest of the high which is yake vahe who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions time and space past present and future i also call upon your angels and your guides from the highest realms and so it is ashe all right you guys this is a general reading please do not force this reading if it's for you it's for you if you find bits and pieces that you resonate with that's fine if you don't resonate with it that's also fine too um i will be using lingo such as divine feminine divine masculine it does not mean that it is sexually specific it just means that it's the energy that I'm talking about. I will also be making references to zodiac signs. It can be anywhere in your chart. It can be in your stellium, your sun, moon, rising, north node, south node, Venus. Just please take what resonates. And I also realize I have Klaus Rogers as well. Welcome everyone. So let's go ahead and get this reading on the way. This is a special premiere, by the way. Thank you for all of my supporters. Ready you do that and spreading good karma by sharing the video, liking, subscribing, making donations monetarily, or if you just check out my wish list and buy something from my wish list, whatever means of your giving, it's all appreciated. Even if you just comment in the comment section and you contribute to the um, moral and spiritual edification of this video and channel that is also greatly appreciated as well all right so i'm going to shuffle up this deck and um, let's see what's going on out there in the collective i feel like there's been a lot of activity because of the uh, new moon being in leo we already have our first card divine masculine it's all about you so this reading since this is the first card that I pull, is going to be about the Divine Masculine, okay? What about the Divine Masculine? What is going on in the collective with the Divine Masculine? Mm. So, many of you have been dealing with hurt and pain from your Divine Masculine. So, there is healing and forgiveness that needs to be done on both parts. Healing and forgiveness. I feel like some of you are feeling resentful towards your Divine Masculine. Please take what resonates. Some of you are mad that your Divine Masculine is not showing up the way that you feel that they should. And that's just that we can't judge our Divine Masculines because they are not showing up the way that we want them to. Remember, we all individually have our own journeys. There may have been some lessons that were very quintessential to the journey that Divine Masculine had to take a pit stop off of the journey to experience. All right? Many of them are experiencing stagnant Kundalini. They are awakening. But some of our, our Masculine's Kundalini is stuck in the Sacral Chakra which promotes promiscuity all right they don't know on a spiritual level that the way that you eradicate that is about ascension spiritual awareness spiritual awakening not you know spreading the, your seed all over the earth all right there was a um, person in the Bible I'm trying to get the person's name I 
um, that the Bible spoke about. I think his name was On Onan. Yeah, Onan is a biblical person in the book of Genesis where um, he was slain by God because he spilled his seed on the ground. So, <laughs> master manipulator. The master manipulator is the next card that we got for divine masculine. So, instead of them doing the work, they're making up excuses for why they can't come into union with their divine feminines. Please notice that I said that this is the reading for the collective. All right? And please take what resonates. Some of these divine masculines, they're not so divine, we're going to call them masculines. They know what to do, and yet they're still not doing it. They're still making up excuses for why they're not doing what they intuitively have been guided to do. Let's go ahead and get the last card from this oracle and then pull some tarot. All right, so this reincarnation in particular, the one that you guys are both in, is the most important. I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be your last reincarnation. So, you guys are going to have to master this lifetime. It's the most important lifetime out of any lifetime. Is the one right now, the one that you're currently in. Okay? And this is the reason why. DF is disappointed because she's like, I've done my part. It's him. He's the one that's taking the longest. Okay. He's the one that's taking a while to get his stuff together. Not me. And it's so sad. So some of you want justice. Some of you feel like you've been treated unfairly when it comes to this relationship dynamic. Some of you may have to go to court. All right. Some of you are wanting a fair trial. Some of you are wanting the judge to basically take your case into consideration. Some of you want favor. The universe has circumvented your situation this could also be that the universe has stepped in the universe has balanced out the scales okay some of you may have been in a relationship where it was unrequited love in this relationship and the universe had to come in and say hey you know unrequited love is not good you should love this person unconditionally so some of your per people um, that you're dealing with are learning about unconditional love too all right this is Libra energy as well. Happy birthday to all the Libras that are out there. Happy birthday, big bro. Today is your birthday as well, October the 8th. So yeah. And if your person is in an air sign, it could be somewhere in their chart. Okay, we also have the Hierophant. So basically, you're wanting this person to be loyal. You want this person to be committed to you. Um, this is Taurus energy. Your person can be learning to be loyal. Please take what resonates. Your person is in the spotlight. They could be a leader. They could be a supervisor or a manager. They can be in a leadership role. They can be an entrepreneur where they run their own business. Please take what resonates. Somehow, some way, they're in the spotlight. And they're trying to uh, influence people or they have influence over people. We got the high priestess. Your person is very psychic. This can be a Pisces. They're very tapped in, tuned in into their God or Goddess frequency. 
they're being illuminated they're being lifted out of the situation that they once was in darkness with they could be also leaving organized religion for some of you and being more inclined to the spiritual side We have the Prince of Discs. So this person could be in school or going back to school or they have learned their lesson. Please take what resonates. And they want to offer you something, okay? As you can see, this person has their pentacle in their hand and they're wanting to give something. I feel like someone wants to come back and they want to make it up to you. They want to make up to you what they put you through. All right? Whoever this person is, they want to make it up. They want to do something right. All right. They want to make up what they put you through. Because I feel like this person has put you through hell. And they don't want you to feel that they don't love you. Because they do care about you. They do love you. Okay. They do know that they made something um, in your life imbalance they know that they are the cause of that and so they're passionate about the way that you feel that's why they're going to offer you something they're going to try to compensate you for your love um they don't want to they don't want you to feel that that love has been lost with the princess of wands they want you to feel the passion that they have for you and the desire that they have for you and the fire Okay, this is Sagittarius or Leo energy. Please take what resonates. But they have this fire, this unburning fire and desire to just kind of like, you know, make love to you and just have like some good makeup sex. All right. You also have the temperance. This is all about balance again. All right. This is when the universe steps in and kind of like do the bidding for you. Help you to pour into each other's cups. Oh, wow. That's deep. Yeah, so this person is kind of like feeling guilty. And they want to balance it out. They want to make it right. They don't want you to feel dejected. They don't want you to feel left out in the cold. They want you to feel the balance on the foot being on the land and the foot being in the water at the same time. Um, bridging those female and androgynous energies together. They really truly want to be the best lover to you. They want to stabilize the relationship. They want to stabilize the energy in a relationship. This is also, um, you know, indicative to higher learning. All right. So they probably are learning from the higher realms, from the angels, how to approach the situation. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius for real, for real with this energy. Please take what resonates. It can be anywhere in your chart. We also have the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is about the emotions. You may have had, um, you know, in times past, difficulty with this person expressing their emotions and feelings. With the Prince of Cups, they pretty much are like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give you this cup of love. Let me tell you how I feel. Okay. Let me remind you of what we both have been feeling for each other is real. Okay, the page of cups is someone who is they don't give a damn about expressing their feelings. They feel like um, they want to give you excitement. I feel like some type of unexpected surprise, some pleasant surprise is going to come from this person. You may have been in, dealing with a person who's very sensitive, very imaginative um, and, and easy to get their feelings hurt. But nonetheless, this person is very intuitive, very psychic, tapped in into their, um, you know, intuitive side really deeply. This could be a Cancer or Pisces. They can often be naive and, and they also can have that like childlike fascination and demeanor when they approach love. 
they can be a little bit uh, immature when it comes to love but one thing for darn sure this person is awakening in their autonomy and they're feeling more spiritual more um more towards progressing uh you know more mature in love because you have the prince of wands the princess of wands right next to him so that's indicating that he is making some progress he's or she is not staying where they are they can be very glamorous very fashionable a person is well dressed knows how to dress from head to toe and um like i said again they are beginning to gain a level of emotional maturity that allows you to be kind compassionate affectionate and and very open to what this person has to say okay again uh this could be a cancer or scorpio or a pisces very dreamy okay you're you're dealing with someone who's a bit of a daydreamer too they tend to you know drift off into and, and daydream and etc so with the prince and the princess of wands right next to each other both of you could probably be young and if you're not you guys both have like that young look on your face you can have a baby face please take what resonates we got the will of fortune so the tides are turning in your favor when it comes to this relationship old soul contracts are ending new ones are beginning with the will of fortune remember what goes around comes back around Whatever seeds you have sowed in this relationship in regards to the hard work, whether it's spiritual, emotional, or romantic wise, is all about to come back to you full circle. You are going to definitely get um, the fruits of your labor. What you've toiled is what I'm hearing. Some of you have really worked hard in this relationship dynamic. And look at this, the last card. This is not a coincidence. This is the Two of Cups. This is your union. This is your reunion for some of you guys. And look at that. You guys are drinking out of the same cup. You guys are, you know, in that two of cups mode with divine masculine, divine feminine. And um, there's a God sign. We love God signs, don't we? Some of you are going to go to the courthouse and get married. Look at that in the back. Can't make this shit up. So there is a marriage that is about to come out of this a marriage proposal you got the lilies that stands for love that also stands for divine impurity we got the clouds that are in the back okay some of some of you guys have had a uh, confusion around this union wondering if this is your real twin flame and um i really believe that this is a confirmation this whole reading is a confirmation that yes yes and yes this is your twin flame you guys are meant to be together in this lifetime and if you ever question, yeah, if this is my twin flame, are we supposed to be together in this lifetime? Yes. Yes. This whole reading is about confirmation on if you're supposed to be together. All right, you guys. So that is it. I am going to go ahead and leave this right here. Please do me a favor. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. Or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you on my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.